Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm featuring the Huangbo R1001, which is essentially a Traxxas Bronco clone. There are a few videos out there on YouTube at the moment featuring this. I just thought I'd give you my take on it and why I would recommend you consider buying one of these because they are absolutely incredible value, very capable and at a third of the cost of what you would pay for a Bronco. So without further ado, let's go through some of the awesome features that you will get with this. So firstly, it's a 300 and 12 13 millimeter wheelbase 110 scale they are 1.9 tires these tires that's currently featuring on this one here are not the originals i changed out but the original tires are quite fine they're on plastic uh, rims i swapped them out for the bead locks as you can see there um, but again you wouldn't really need to do that now the other thing that it does have is um, two-speed transmission uh, takes typically two S3S, which is uh, a no-brainer oil-filled shocks, uh, 550 motor. And um, the only thing I'd say is a negative, out of the box, the steering servo is a little bit weak. So I did change mine out to a, a new servo. It has a pre-installed lighting kit, which is pretty cool. Um, just trying to think other other items that kind of stand out. Uh, the ES, the standard ESC that comes with it is not bad. I swapped mine out to an ESD T70, which is essentially a similar kind of level as a Hobbywing 1080, but at about half the price. It's a Bluetooth compatible ESC setup. And the beauty with that is that you can set up things like throttle curve and so on, which uh, works out quite good for, um, the standard uh, controller. Uh, yeah, I had no issues whatsoever. So in terms of, um, yeah, like the, uh, the, uh, the body and so forth, it's not a hard shell, um, but still really, really nicely done. Um, I've popped a, a winch on the front um, and I did that because there wasn't enough channels. I've actually got just one of those remote controls that you can add in there. It's very easy to do. Um, other than that, out of the box, it's pretty much good to go. I changed out the ESC purely because I wanted to have the low end torque and uh, better crawling capability. So if you did want to spend another $35, $40 and put in uh, the ESC like I did, it's well worth your money. Now, in terms of what you can do in terms of updates and modifications, you can add brass, which is what I've done to this. So I've got, it's got portal axles, by the way, which is great for clearance. So I've added the, added the brass at the front and the rear. Um, I've put on the skid plates and uh, both on front and rear diffs. It's got quite a bit of weight. This thing is probably the heaviest rig I've got. Just lifting it like this is probably a good five and a half probably almost six kilos, which for a crawler slash trail rig is pretty heavy. But I want to tell you, out of all the rigs that I've got, I'm very surprised to say that this is probably the most capable rig I've got. It is just flawless. What can you expect to pay for something like this? Believe it or not, about $320 on AliExpress. That's including free shipping. Now, if you can tell me where you can get something like this uh, for better value, uh, I'd love to know in the comments section because there's no way. I mean, for the features that you get on this thing, it is absolutely phenomenal. Now, you, one thing you'll spot at the front, it is known as a beluga when you buy it from the box. Um, I don't know what that, main, uh, that name means, but um, across here, it does say beluga. As you can see on mine, it says Bronco. You can easily go on AliExpress and buy the, the grill and just bolt it on there, which is what I've done. Um, the mirrors are quite cool. They fold in, so if you ever roll it or whatever, they're not gonna break off that easy. It's got the snorkel on there. I've popped on the little aerial. As I say, I popped on the winch. Let's try to think what else. Um, you know, little accessories like this on the side here. I've, I've popped on just to give it, you know, that scale kind of look. 
this little thing on the top uh, came from AliExpress. It was about 20 bucks. It's a lot of money for a tiny little thing like that, but you know what? It deserves, the, the, the rig deserves it. It finishes it off quite nicely. Um, yeah, what else can I say about this rig? Um, other than it is just an amazing rig in terms of value, just straight out of the box. Yes, it does knock off Traxxas. I know people have got mixed feelings about companies that are doing cloning and things like that. It's not 100% because the Traxxas Bronco does have remote locking differentials. This does not have locking differentials. You can add that feature to it. Um, it would have been nice if the windows weren't tinted like this, if they were clear because you could easily put in a nice interior. All right, I'll just quickly show you the inside. It's got a clipless body, which um, I forgot to mention. So the clips are just underneath the fender wells. Um, just obviously you've got to be careful when you're taking this off because of the, uh, the wiring. I'll just bring the camera around so we can have a look at. So as you can see here, you got your battery pack in the center, your motor's uh, front mount. Um, it's an axle mounted uh, steering servo. I've put in an ES1 sound module there, as you saw there, the winch. Um, you've got over here your ESC and uh, the setup for your transmitter receiver. Um, that's my battery pack up the back there for my winch. And as I said, um, I've just got one of these little remote control winches, which is pretty easy to set up and you can get them on AliExpress quite cheap. So this is pretty much pretty much it underneath. If you put this side by side by uh, beside a Traxxas Bronco, it is literally identical, um, apart from a few minor little changes. Obvious, obviously, you know, this is the gear shift servo over here and what you'd see on the Traxxas version is two servos for the for the remote dif differential locking which this doesn't have but as I say I've seen on AliExpress where you can actually add that feature in there for about a hundred hundred odd dollars I'm not going to do it um, you'll see why in a moment when I run it outside it is just incredibly capable the way it is I think Part of the reason why it's so capable is because the brass kit that you can buy for this will set you back probably about $100 from memory. And the difference that adding that brass on there, um, and I changed out obviously the tyres. Uh, these are 118 millimetre, 118 millimeter, I think they're 4.5 wide. Uh, they just slightly rub if there's a bit of flex but they give incredible grip and they're very, very soft rubber. The foams are a little bit hard for my liking. Um, they're not vented, but in my opinion, it doesn't take away anything from its performance. Um, yeah, let's plug this thing in and get it ready to roll. Um, this is the standard cheapy copy Traxxas remote works perfectly fine so I'll flick that on there flick on our there she goes turn off the lights pop this back on over here pretty pretty easy to to clip on the body on and off I mean I've actually did a video just yesterday on my FMS FMS FCX 10 which has a, um, a body, clipless body type of mounting system. And that thing is just, I don't know if I like it. It's a bit scary because, you know, these bodies are quite thin. And on that FMS, it's almost like you have to be so careful not to damage the body. Whereas on this one, it's just click, click, and away you go. Um, so anyway, I'll shut up. Let's go outside in the front yard and run this thing. And I'm going to show you how amazing it is. Obviously, I haven't got rocks and stuff like that at the front, but you're going to get an idea as to why I think this thing is probably the best value RC out there on the market. Unbeatable value. 
Um, and I don't know if a lot of people in the RC commu community really know about it. I'm a member on Facebook of the Huangbo R1000, oh no, sorry, the uh, ZP series, which is their 270 millimeter um, wheelbase rigs. I'll quickly show you. Yeah, so this is Huangbo's earliest uh, features. This is obviously a clone of the Traxxas uh, Defender, but it is a 270 millimeter, so you can clearly see it's a lot smaller. They claim it to be a 110. It is not a 110. But this is how I kind of got back into the whole RC scene by this little baby here. It is a great entry level. I think you can still get these for about $150 with a couple of batteries. You know, and they're highly modifiable. You know, like I've put brass and all sorts on this thing. Um, but that's, I've actually got a video out on that. If you're interested anyway, um, you can check it out. Let's...
here is gear one. Let's get a close up of that number plate. <laughs> All you Seinfeld fans out there. The ass man. So, anyway, um, so there you have it the Huangbo R1001. Um, very capable, one third of the cost of the Traxxas Bronco, I would say it's probably the best value 110 scale RC out there, go out and grab one, I don't get sponsored from this stuff, I'm just giving you, you know, the best possible value for dollar options there if you're budget conscious, see you in the next video, bye for now.